Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 24th, 2011. Welcome to the Manufactured Home Show. We're here and we're ready to go on another beautiful morning here in Phoenix, Arizona. My wife's cooking breakfast and life is good. Hope everything is well where you are right now today. Let's get started right away with the show brought to you by ManufacturedHomeMart.com. That's right. Buy, sell, rent manufactured homes. If you're a professional in the manufactured housing industry, you owe it to yourself to check out ManufacturedHomeMart.com. Our wonderful and surprisingly uh, new sponsor. Wonderful. Anyway, today is the Aflac uh, Duck Auditions. And as I mentioned before on previous webcasts, I think that I should be the new voice of the, of the Aflac Duck. So uh, they also said that they are open, and I posted this on the, on the Twitter because it's so funny. Anyone can audition to become the new Aflac Duck. And they're also open to uh, new ways of presenting the Aflac Duck. For instance, uh, you might not say Aflac, which is the standard. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> you might go with something different. So I came up with a couple. The standard I just did, so I don't need I don't need to do that for you again. Everybody can do Aflac. That's pretty easy, right? How about this? The English the English version, like an English duck. Jolly good. Hello, Aflac. Hello. <laughs> I don't like that one either. Okay, how about the, how about the street cred Aflac duck? Yo 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 Aflac! <laughs> I do like that one the best. Okay, uh, between the street cred Aflac is way way better. So I'll be putting together a couple of videos for that. Uh, do you have an Aflac duck that you can do, honey? No. Okay. <laughs> The answer is no. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Everybody, I encourage you, you know, you're not going to win because you're up against the stiffest competition that there is. I am the future voice of the Aflac Duck. But if you want to, you know, you can find that uh, link yourself. It's on my Twitter if you want to find it. Uh, Twitter.com backslash MH underscore Mart. That's our new call sign on Twitter. Uh, Libya. Let's move it. What? <laughs> They're burning people in Libya. No, Libya is purely insane. Watching the news last night, can't believe what's going on there. And there's a lot of very strong opinions about Libya and what's going on there. Now, here is the most amazing thing that has happened so far to me. Uh, last night, I, I, I switched back between the different news organizations because you know you got to get. Uh, your left and right wing news can never get just regular news anymore. So I happen to be watching Fox News with Greta Van Strudelstren or whatever her name is. And Sarah Palin was on there. Now, I am not a fan of Sarah Palin. And I'll say no more than that. But I have to say, last night she's on there with Greta Van Strudelstren. And she made some very good comments. And I was shocked that I found myself in agreement with Sarah Palin. Here's a couple of things that she said that I agree with, okay? She said that uh, we need to take out Gaddafi. And I do agree with that. I think we should take him out. And by the way, her exact words were, are you ready for this, honey? Because this is funny. Her exact words were, strike hard and pull out. <laughs> you can take that any way you want. <laughs> Strike hard and pull out. Okay. Anyway, another thing that she said that I agree with is, um, you know, while we're out going about our business of uh, policing the world, we should choose our battles wisely. I agree with that. We can't go into every single place that there is unrest in the world or people are being attacked by their own government uh, and, uh, you know, attack and bomb and get involved. So we got to choose our battles wisely. I agreed with that. She said that we should more staunchly support Israel, which I agree with that too. Israel is just a tiny little country surrounded over there by a lot of aggressive, you know. <laughs> right. And you know what? Uh, 
we should be supporting them. And I agree with Sarah Palin. It's unbelievable. Uh, she also said that we need more consistency with our leadership, blah, blah, blah. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I found myself agreeing with Sarah Palin for the, for the first time ever. I don't think that she's uh, particularly bright, but in this case, I got to hand it to her. I thought she was spot on uh, with those things on Fox News last night. Okay. The next thing is I like to talk about real quick before we get to anything manufactured, home related, is uh, uh, my my broadcasting idol Howard Stern is suing uh, Sirius Radio. I told you about that, didn't I? I forgot to mention it on yes. I wanted to talk about it on yesterday's webcast because it's it's a couple days old in terms of news. But 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 the long and the short of it is is that. Basically, since he came on to Sirius, there was a merger with XM. There were things promised to him in way of stocks and so on and so forth. And the company has not given it to him. And he, I, you know, he probably clearly deserves it. If it's in his contract, that's the way it should be. So uh, basically, Sirius XM said, no, we're not giving you the, uh, what you want. So Howard's suing him. And you know what? It doesn't even matter. The guy's got a five-year contract for like however it's probably more than what was he making like 500 million or something like that it's probably even more than that but anyway uh, more power to Howard he's always having to fight a fight uh, even though he's proven himself over about a million times um, Baba Booey to everyone on that um, okay let's mo let's move on to some uh, oh wait a minute before I get to the manufactured home portion, I want to say great job last night, Phoenix Suns. They won 114-106. They're chasing for the eight spot in the playoffs. Our own Phoenix Suns here. We want them to win. They did win last night. Big, big win. Great game. Uh, honey, did you see the, Ch the Channing Fry commercial where he calls his grandma? <laughs> the commercial comes up. Let me just tell you really fast. I thought this was really funny because I love, you know how I love my grandma, God rest her, her soul. Um, so it was a grandma. Channing Fry, he gets on the phone, it's a Fry's commercial by the way because he's, you know, his name and all, Fry's, Fry's grocery store locally here. Anyway, so he, he the commercial starts out and Channing Fry gets on the phone and he goes, his exact words, he goes, yo grandma, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, I, I had a great relationship with Grandma, and I used to say a lot of open things with her, but I never once called her on the phone <laughs> and said, Yo, Grandma, what's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. Did you think that's funny? Well, maybe my version of it's not as funny as the real commercial, but it struck me as very humorous, obviously, as I carry on about it. Okay. All right, Manufactured Home Show. Here we go. Once again, ManufacturedHomeMart.com. Oh, let me get situated. Our great sponsor. Now, I wanted to touch just briefly because you now we're at a good spot in time. Now, there's been a lot of conversation in our industry lately about various types of associations, uh, our trade associations. We have, for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of them. I mean, there's maybe two or three on the national level, uh, trade associations, and then Almost every state has a association as well. Not all of them do, but most, most states do. And I think that, that there is a big uh, parity uh, between everyone. You know, not everybody agrees that the associations are good or they're doing their job or they effectively represent. Well, I thought I would put in a couple of cents on that. And I don't want to say that associations are bad. The national ones or the state ones, I'm not qualified to really comment about that. I do think that uh, regardless uh, of what you think, you sh people in the industry should try to become involved in their, in their, <clears throat> in their tr trade uh, associations. Now, this huge thing came to light to me in the past couple of days, and I, I've thought, I have thought about it. Uh, from a local level here in Arizona before, actually I t can't take full credit. I think it was it was my dad's idea, 
uh, to come up with an association specifically for retailers. Those of you who don't know a lot about me, that's where I come from. I come from the retail side of, of manufactured housing. That's where my background is. And so uh, I, I noticed and I started snooping online. I haven't done that much research yet, but just from the initial feelers that I put out, there are no, do you hear me, baby? There are no associations for retailers. None. This is, this is let me say, this is actually a travesty in our industry. Retailers, I am going to say this boldly, are underrepresented in our industry. The associations and actually the entire business, the entire industry is dominated by the manufacturers dominated. Some people might make a case for land lease communities have a big um, effect or what's the word I'm looking for? Well, whatever. I Sometimes I get stuck on a word. I'm not going to stop on it. But anyway, influence. Um, maybe so. That's true. But I, in, it, by and large, it's the manufacturers that, that dominate our industry. Now, I want to throw this out there, and I don't know if anything can ever come of it some, some way, somehow. Uh, we talked about, my, uh, it was my dad that brought it up uh, when we were at an AHA. AHA is the, is the Manufactured Home Association for Arizona, which is where I am. Now, my dad, Blackhawk Homes, is a retailer, and he does belong, and I have been to meetings with him in the past, although since I, I started... Uh, uh, this website, I have not been uh, making myself a part of those meetings because, uh, uh, well, I just have chosen not to. But anyway, the fact is, is that we brought that up in private, actually, with the gentleman who owns Factory Expo Homes, and he thought it was a good idea. But nothing came of it because we didn't work. It takes a lot of work. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna start an association, uh, a lot of planning, a lot of work, you got to have a lot of individuals involved. But, but let me say this, let me just offer this up. I'm not saying I'm, I can take the lead on this or anything. <laughs> I can't be like the United States and Libya and just, yeah. actually, I, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to strike hard and pull out. <laughs> no, the, the fact is, is that we should have associations for retailers. So I actually would encourage folks to start thinking about that. Um, because retailers definitely are underrepresented. We have a different set of issues that face us than other segments of the industry. Uh, it's all well and good to, be, to belong to the, the state or the national associations, but let me encourage everybody, you know, let's, uh, let's maybe think about a national or probably makes more sense to have local uh, retailer associations. I think, that, I think it's beautiful. I really do. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm going to have to say about it. Uh, once again, I, I, I uh, thank you for watching the webcast. Please go to manufacturedhomemart.com and, and uh, sell your mobile homes. Buy manufactured homes. You can even find manufactured homes for rent. And uh, pull, uh, advertise your business. Advertise your park. Uh, there's nothing like it on the internet. Manufacturedhomemart.com, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time. We'll be webcasting again. Tomorrow is Friday, is it not? Yeah. Yes. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for Friday, the last show of the week. Thank you.